Good morning, everyone. We decided to go to some kind of mountain. Dasha said there are there is somewhere cool mountain where we have to go and just see. But what I want to highlight is the morning bird sounds. I'll try to make a footage so you can listen it. Yes, we must, we must do it. We must go to the mountains. And as you see, we already drive. Uh, it was very beautiful road. And hopefully when I'm gonna drive back, I will ask my wife to, I will ask Dasha uh, to film the road because it's very beautiful. To be honest with you, it's my first experience driving in the mountains and it was great. It just was cool. So I don't really know where we are. I think it's just one point in a kind of, uh, it's kind of just one stop between the mountains, but, uh, we will uh, we parked in there and we were really really lucky to find the parking because as you see there is more and more cars are coming um, in internet we read that um, you have to you have to kind of uh, come here earlier to find a good uh, place to find a parking to find the spots so we did try our best what we can do with the two kids so yeah let's um, walk somewhere I even don't know where to walk and see what's around. Nie, nie wstawiać sobie. Look, look. You put like this. Сейчас смотри, твоя 5P, она it's falling and then now start. Start. Should yeah. I just spin it? Yeah. Give me spin it. Go, 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 go. It goes hard. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Давайте мы. Come on. Well done, Dmitry, you're so strong. Давай, Дима, come on. Давай, давай, Should давай. Let me do it. Come on, come on, come on. Let me do it, let me. Ну давайте, давай, давай. Ну крути. You need to press it. Yeah, go, go, Lana, go. Go, Lana, go, Lana, go, Lana, go, Lana. Yeah. Easy. Okay. Show me, Дима, show me. Show me. We got the special wait, 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 wait. Tima, hold it. Wait. No. no, it wasn't the design that he wanted. Nah, oh, no, wait, oh, no. It was. Yeah, it is. It, it is. Was, wait. Yeah, that's so cool. cool. That's so cool. We're going up, and I cannot believe that my wife forgot my wind jacket. It's a bit windy. There. is just leaving their cars just like that on the side and actually I'm not sure 2.2 kilometers well yeah we could have done it but yeah maybe we should have just walked up
Давай, снимай его. Привет! Давай! Guys, here. Careful. Oh, it's the ruins. Come on, Coming. It's absolutely stunning view from there and it was actually worth to go all that way to drive all that route and as I understand it's the highest point of those mountains and there is kind of tower and it is kind of I wouldn't say it's a kind of scary but I would say it's a kind of uncomfortable feeling to climb in there but believe me guys it's really worth it so and um, it's just stunning you just want to be there for minutes and minutes and hours and hours and just look around you because every single site we're gonna look it's a stunning view i never ever ever seen something even close to this beauty in my life so hi guys so now we understand why TripAdvisor says to come to this place at 7 or 8 a.m because look at this place now limited limited parking spaces about 15 spaces and now it's absolutely full it's like full with coaches everyone is parking up this narrow road it's absolutely insane just insane and so busy so yeah guys if you come to this beautiful place literally show the road, arrive show the road. yeah 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 look Hi, it's, where, where? it's really parking up up there Everything is parked up. So yeah, if you are coming, please come 7 or 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. like the latest to have the best time. <laughs> <laughs> but here we go. Woo woo. We're going down. I need two things. I need coffee and a sea level ground. We're coming down. Ooh. Boom. So as I said, I want to just walk around the apartments where we're living and just show you what's going on around. If I understand right, the area is calling uh, Cala Sant Vicente, something like that. And apartments is uh, this yellow house, uh, it's called uh, Apartments Pinos Altos. And again, for beginning, I need to tell it's a very quiet area. Um, there were a couple of guys who were like living in apartments next to us, but there were Germans, about six youngsters, and uh, still no parties no loud parties no noises no screaming shouts nothing no and when you book these apartments you also kind of see the disclaimer that you are not allowed to make loud parties or play music there are a lot of restaurants around so kind of local restaurants it's not mostly tourist area which is good and another thing what i do like is it's a bus stop so in the bus stop it's me there is a public transport i saw this bus so if you don't have car, if you don't rent car, it's always nice to have a public transport in there. So behind me is a currency exchange. And what I want to say, just for fun, I came here and I asked uh, how much do I get if I'll change about 100 Great British Pounds. 
and <laughs> I check on Google so based on Google I should get about 116 118 great bridge pounds but the guy said no you're gonna get 95 so the exchange rate here is not the best one as you see that's why guys make sure you get your ears with you before you go to these little villages and this is not the place where I want to go it's uh, I promised probably since day two I wanna visit a barber shop so I need to do my haircut it's a bit too fluffy I would say but um, I forgot that in Spain they have a siesta it's mean that the hairstyle works if we I'm gonna have a look in there it works 10 till 1 and then 3 30 till 7 30 which mean I need to now walk around because at this moment it's only two o'clock all right now we're stepping um, close to the sea so uh, by the way I'm so sorry I think I called it for the ocean for the last couple of uh, series and uh, it's actually not an ocean as I know it's a sea so yeah as we're going to the close to the nice blue water uh, more it's became kind of tourists as you see it's became a, bo a bit more hotels a bit more restaurants a bit more tourist orientated area but um, from the direction where we were, came from I just want to say that it's so different every single house is so different and they so cool, they so cozy and uh, beautiful and all these palm trees and a lot of plants. Uh, it's just something different that I used to see. To be honest with you, it's my first time in Spain and I love it. I absolutely love it. It was kind of my dream to come here and just to see. I, I like, I heard about this uh, in the movies. I saw this in the pictures. I read about this in the books, but that's how I actually used to see the Spain. Maybe it's just one part of the Spain. Maybe the different Spain is different. I mean, the different parts are different, but every single bit in there, it's so beautiful for me. It's so cool. All right, I think I'm gonna finish uh, my video footage right there on this beautiful view because uh, there, 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 on a the beach, there is my family, my kids and my wife. Dasha, Dmitry and Ruslana. So then I'm gonna go now. I wanna join them and just enjoy the rest of my day. But I hope you saw kind of a lot of beautiful footages and you have a rough idea how awesome is this place. Alright guys, we are going to the this kind of marine aqua park and we decided to stop in um, somewhere near the Palma city uh, just because we want to have a snacks and coffee just to give you a little update I'm feeling absolutely crap I don't know why it's like a cold I'm shaking bones, hurts, back hurts maybe it's a kind of a heat uh, sun, sun heat, um, heat I don't know what's going on but I'm really feeling bad but I'll try to do my best. I'll try to do all the footages and just uh, show some nice, beautiful places all around, okay? Let's go find some food. Dasha? Dasha? Wait for me. I, I found my best thing of my life. Phone cases! <laughs> Did you order what you wanted to know? No. Why? Wow, she didn't allow you to order. No, I literally said how to add the thingy. The bottom one, I pressed the order thing that she um, put on a scozella. And it's still like, what you said to the monkey croissant? You're like, how do you add the thingy? The bottom one, I pressed the order the croissant. You're so cute. Aww. Two. Can you do Two donuts. It? Two donuts, please, yeah. I'm gonna have one too, yeah? We can share it with you. Look at you, do please, what next? So, it's him, it's him. Nice little cafe, really, really nice, very yummy, simple, simple stuff, but very tasty, very tasty.
I think I just find a red one from Angry Birds. Guys, it's the red one from Angry Birds.
Так, что с этим? Baby milk? Sorry. Okay. Oh, Лан, держи. Hold on. Дима, give it to me. Да, Лан, ты выливаешь. О, oh, Дима, hold, Дима, hold. Хватай, хватай ее, хватай. Дима, come on. Дима, ниже пусти, lower. Hold on. Дима, hold on. Дай ему какой-нибудь хороший рыбки. Да, дай ему хороший рыбки. Да. Я бы тебе... Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Marine Life and to our parrot show. Say hi! Yeah, you did it! Well done! Hello everyone! So, from our video we skipped... Uh, we skipped... I don't know, wherever, the one that was missing completely from my life because I got a sunstroke. Um, if you notice in all videos that I was filming, I did not wear any kind of hat or bandana, just in a couple of places. I was wearing a bandana and um, when we came back from the marine, it was absolutely terrible. I start shaking and my temperature raised and um, I got a cough still, my uh, throat is a bit hurt. Um, but yeah, it was terrible, guys. Uh, in general, I did calculations. I spent in a bed, kind of sleeping for more than 30 hours. Today's the last day, technically the last day, because tomorrow in the morning we're flying back and uh, we just decided to go to this Palenka again in a nice cafe. Here we have a breakfast, then we're gonna go on a beach and um, we're gonna um, try to enjoy last day with the sun and the sea, swim a lot. And just to finish our days, we decide to go on our beach. It's uh, near our apartments, just uh, so far away. So I will be really, really gentle to myself because after my son's stroke, I don't need to stay for a long time under the sun. But uh, I really want to swim the last time because the water in the sea is stunning. So nice temperature. We just gave our car back and uh, the company record go is just amazing. I'll just show you the range of cars they provide for rental. It's awesome.
all this line is just a little part of all range what they provide so what you can take for rental and it's just absolutely amazing wow really nice service very good cars and uh, loyal prices so here we are back in airport all days are over uh, just gonna go to security check in maybe have a coffee somewhere and flying back to Bristol there are some things I want to highlight uh, about this holidays. First of all, it was awesome, absolutely awesome. But uh, the biggest problem was my sunstroke. I got a sunstroke, so that took out, completely out, two days of my holidays. And I felt that I really let down my family because I was the only one driver. And the idea was we could not go anywhere because I spent these two days in a bed, simply under the duet, sleeping all the time. As I said, I did the calculations. In general, I was sleeping, just sleeping, more than 30 hours, but it was two days just of nothing, which was quite sad, so just simply because I didn't wear a hat. Um, another thing is, uh, what I did like is, uh, this is the most beautiful place i ever seen, I mean, so far. All these mountains, all these cliffs, the sea, the nature, the sun, it's just amazing, it's just absolutely stunning and beautiful and I would say in a place, I didn't travel a lot, but in the places where I've been, this one is number one, which is just stunning, like about the views, about wherever you look, any, any daytime, nighttime, it's just stunning, it's very beautiful. Um, another thing is uh, <laughs> cyclists. I never ever seen so many people just cycling and cycling and cycling. We're not talking about the students, you know, like uh, I used to live in Cambridge, there was a lot of students cycling. No, we're talking about actually all the sports cycling, you know, the riders, I don't know how they're called, track cycles probably. Um, it's so many of them. And in our airport, I even see a lot of people coming with the helmets. So I guess they're coming here for, uh, and uh, even people who meet, you know, the arrivals, they have all this um, kind of signs with a name and surname, and there's a little logo of kind of cycling company. So I guess people come here just to do some kind of cycling, which is absolutely amazing. Never seen this before. And uh, in general, holidays were absolutely awesome. We're definitely gonna come here again. And uh, this time I want to come, I don't want to film, I just want to enjoy every single minute, every single second with my family, with this beautiful nature, with this beautiful country. It was kind of my dream to visit Spain and I'm so glad that I start Spain with the Palma de Mallorca. It's just beautiful. Okay, that's it, we're waiting for our plane, we're gonna go home and hopefully see you again guys. Bye!